Welcome to this new video of the Gelato Expert Academy. I'm Luca Musolesi and in the last video I brought you with me in some tasting of American ice cream. Today I'm going to try something different, still American ice cream, but vegan, so plant-based, no dairy, no milk and eggs and whatsoever. So in the supermarket here in New York there's several, several brands proposing uh, plant-based uh, uh, products. Of course, as we said, they are called frozen desserts and not ice cream because of the regulation here in the USA. And uh, let's see what I've got. So now it's winter, there's not a lot of choice uh, in the supermarket, but still there's quite a few plant-based flavors, especially in a Whole Foods market that has more of a premium and niche products. So uh, the thing is, there were not many vanilla plant-based uh, flavors, so I just got some mixed flavors. The only two vanilla beans that I got is uh, this one from the Whole Foods uh, brand, which is uh, almond milk based. And then I got this one from Nadamu, which is, let's say, coconut milk based. Now we will taste uh, some of these flavors and then at the end we will also uh, try to reverse engineer and formulate these two vanilla flavors that we got here. Then, besides the vanilla, I got some Ben & Jerry so-called uh, milk and cookies and then uh, so delicious uh, with oat milk uh, salted caramel and then so delicious with cashew milk, chocolate truffle. And then two from uh, Van Leeuwen, one cookies and cream uh, with cashew and oat, and another one with cashew, it's called uh, dark chocolate fudge brownie. So a little bit of variety. Of course, the chocolate flavors are going to be easier to make vegans, but let's start from uh, the vanilla. So let's open the vanilla bean from the uh, brand of Whole Foods Market. As usual, they have this plastic lid. Okay, the look seems uh, okay. Actually, it seems even better than their dairy one. So let's have a test. It's a bit icy on the top, but maybe it's only on the top. Texture, a little bit icy and crumbly. It looks better than um, how it actually uh, is in the mouthfeel in the, in the mouth. A bit greasy, definitely. Even just up there, a couple of sp spoons, I can feel that it's uh, greasy. And this has uh, not that much, but around maybe 11% of fat. But it probably all comes from uh, coconut. Um, coconut oil. It's not specified how much almonds there is inside, but flavor-wise, it really tastes like almond. Uh, there's, there's a note of vanilla, which is pleasant, but the main flavor is definitely almond. Not even a great almond flavor, but it's, um, it's okay. It's not bad. Let's now go to this other uh, Nudamu vanilla which is uh, coconut milk based so it's not written clearly on the box uh, which i think it's uh, no it's written here made with certified organic coconut milk i think it should be more evident that this coconut milk for people not to be mistaken if they don't like it but let's see how it tastes so there's also this very nice seal on top that opens very easily the look is quite good, I would say. Let's taste it. On the texture side, definitely greasy. Very greasy, actually. A bit icy, but definitely more air than the other one. So it's quite warm in the mouth. However, 
the flavor is very underwhelming. It really tastes like uh, cheap coconut. Almost like coconut aroma, but not really. But it's not really great unless you really like coconut. But even if you like coconut, I don't think this is uh, amazing in terms of flavor profile. So let's go to something, something different and let's try uh, Ben & Jerry. Ben & Jerry has a lot of ingredients for this uh, product, especially because this has cookies. So clearly there's many ingredients also in the cookies. Uh, the interesting thing is that the, main, the first ingredient is sunflower milk. So this is made with uh, water and roasted sunflower seeds, which is not really common uh, to see. It's quite, quite different. And let's see if I can open it. That was hard. Okay, this is how it looks like. The name is Milk and Cookies, Non Diary, Frozen Desserts, etc. etc. This is how it looks. Obviously, it's a mashup of many things inside. Let's see how it tastes. First of all, the texture is quite hard, mm, not really creamy, quite dense, but acceptable. The flavor, however, it's, it's pretty bad. It tastes like some flour seed oil. It doesn't really taste like anything really appealing, so I'm not sure there's pieces, chunks of cookies and chocolate inside, but they also taste pretty, pretty bad. So I would skip this one. Let's move to something else. Let's try now the so delicious oat milk chocolate salted caramel. So this we start with the chocolate flavors. Should be probably better. It is with made with um, oat milk. So that's a seal, then I open it. This is melting already a bit faster. They've been out of the freezer for 15 minutes, so maybe a bit more. It's definitely melting. So the texture is a little bit icy. Um, and you can feel the oat in the jot itself. However, the toppings, uh, there's chunks of sweet chocolate and then this um, caramel that they make it overall quite uh, pleasurable. The gelato itself is not my favorite, but the whole combination is definitely not bad. But let's now try still from So Delicious, the dark chocolate truffle that is made with cashew milk instead of oat. So this one. So this is the dark chocolate truffle with cashew milk. It's a bit harder, especially because there's no caramel inside that is making the gelato melt faster. Okay, so here the texture is, is not bad. It's a bit hard still, really hard actually but it's um, when it's melting it's quite smooth uh, flavor is not bad of course it's not the nicest cocoa powder and chocolate that there is but overall not not bad could be of course better chocolate inside but that's uh, still a supermarket product so let's now move to something more on the artisanal side uh, at least as a um, philosophy so van leeuwen and we have cookies and cream caramel swirl. This is made with vegan, vegan cashew and oat. So it's a mix of oat milk and cashew milk. So let's see how it looks like. Okay, the package was a bit damaged. What is this one?
Interestingly enough, it's very greasy and uh, it tastes like coconut. I wasn't expecting that because I didn't read the ingredients, but it's written cashew and oat, but then it tastes like coconut just as much as uh, an Adamo. So that, that was surprising. Then I read, and after oat milk and cashew milk, milk there's also coconut cream, which you can definitely taste. It's very strong. And then the caramel swirl, it tastes a little bit artificial, or it tastes more like aroma than actual caramel. And the texture is actually surprisingly icy, but I think probably because it's been defrosted and uh, frozen again, it seems at least. So, but this tastes like coconut. So I believe it should be written on the package not to create a wrong expectation because I wasn't expecting coconut flavor. So that's a bit of a bummer. Now let's go to the, the last one. Here it says vegan cashew. Now let me read if there's a coconut cream. There's coconut cream also here, but I hope this is dark chocolate, fudge, brownie, whatever. So I hope that here is not that present, the coconut flavor. Interesting how it's made. It looks like this with all the chocolate sauce around the edges. This is definitely softer. The texture is very icy. Flavor doesn't taste like coconut cream, but it tastes like cheap chocolate, cheap cocoa powder, cheap cocoa sauce, basically. That's what it tastes, the gelato and the sauce. It's not bad, but I wouldn't eat much more, honestly. Of course, it would be interesting to compare flavors that are not chocolate, but I can see the trend in the flavor profile of caramel and type of chocolate that is used. It's similar for so delicious and Van Leeuwen, this um, sort of uh, flavor. And uh, except for so delicious, the others, they really have strong uh, off flavors of something else. Either it's coconut or almond milk, especially in vanilla, you can feel it really a lot, the almond and the coconut. Uh, but now let's have a look on the computer at the formulation of the vanilla beans with coconut and with uh, almond milk to try to recreate it and see how this recipe is actually made. Let's now have a look at the recipe of uh, Nadamu vanilla to see how the process of reverse engineering of a recipe like this works. You can subscribe to the Gelato Expert Academy and you will find in module of vegan gelato, a special section about reverse engineering of uh, a vegan recipe. So now let's try to make it quick and see how this recipe is built and what are the characteristics. Okay, let's have a look at the ingredients of Nadamo. You see that they are in uh, descending order, of course. So we start with coconut milk, water, then we have agave syrup. Agave syrup uh, is uh, uh, pretty standard, even though there can be differences between one and the others. And then we have inulin. Then we have uh, tapioca syrup, which is just a different way of uh, making uh, corn syrup, which is glucose syrup. If it's uh, coming from corn, it's called corn syrup. If it's coming from tapioca, it's called tapioca syrup. Then we have uh, guar gum, sea salt, locus bean gum, and then vanilla powder and uh, natural vanilla flavor. So here we have also our nutritional values that they are for 95 grams, so almost for 100 grams, but I can normalize them in percentage from 95 to 100 basically. Doesn't change a lot, but just to have a more precise information. And if we add them up, you can see that the total solid count is not very high. We are around 29%. So this is a recipe definitely for a continuous freezer where we can pump a lot of air because otherwise it's going to be quite uh, cold and quite icy. Here you can see on our formulation app uh, Gelato Passport Plus that you can find on gelato.expert if you want. Uh, I put the ingredients in descending order of course uh, and then I'm uh, putting the ingredients uh, quantities to match the final 
result of the nutrition label. So obviously this ingredients that are in small quantities, we cannot really know what is the quantity, we can just guess it and put it to our taste. So the vanilla is obviously the last ingredient that's just a little bit, but we can imagine to put one gram to have some nice flavor. Then guar gum and taragam, they're probably at two, one grams, maybe a bit less of taragam and salt also, we are probably around one gram. Then the other ingredients, uh, we can fill them to match our uh, nutritional values that we can see here. So we have to match the fats and the fats here, we can match them simply with the coconut meal because the, it's the only source of fat. So with a standard coconut milk that has 18% uh, fat, or maybe 20, you can regulate it, we need around 500 grams on one kilo to reach that 9% more or less of fat. So we know already that the coconut milk is, needs to be that amount, depending on the fat content of the coconut milk, of course. And then agave syrup, uh, basically uh, it's the other sugar that we have besides the one naturally contained uh, in the coconut milk. So we want to reach this 11% of sugars. And to do that, we need to add uh, more or less uh, 105, so around 10% of agave syrup. Then we have inulin and also here inulin, uh, it's pretty clear because we need to reach about 6% of dietary fiber, a little bit more. So we need a bit more than 6% of inulin. So we are at 65. And then the corn syrup or the tapioca syrup is basically made to match the total carbs, which are including fibers in the US. So 19% more or less. If we see here, we are almost 19. And basically with that, we can achieve the same uh, uh, nutritional values or very close, of course, not, not necessarily exactly the same. We see that we are almost 29% of solids. Our freezing point is minus 1.95, which means that this is a recipe that works only with a fairly high overrun, not with a low overrun of a normal batch freezer. And uh, there you go with this recipe that obviously, as uh, uh, you might have noticed, uh, it's not so clear, but it does taste only like coconut milk. And it's pretty obvious why it, it contains 50% uh, of coconut milk. Now, this video is getting very long, so I will skip for now the reverse engineering of the other brand. But if you're interested in seeing a uh, reverse engineering of other brands uh, or products, uh, just let me know and maybe suggest some uh, product that you would like to see what is the recipe and we can do together a reverse engineering. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, after this tasting and a little bit of formulation of vegan uh, ice cream, I will see you in the next video where we will go back to Italy and check some Italian products, uh, industrial products and comment them and compare them, compare them to the uh, American uh, ice cream. So if you haven't done it yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with the next videos and learn more about the gelato and ice cream and all the secrets behind it and about its formulation. And if you want to learn everything about gelato or ice cream, subscribe to the Gelato Expert Academy, link in the description. Until then, see you in the next video.